Good afternoon, King of Avalon. As you can see, that was the opening, new opening screenshot that was put into the game. I like it. I think it's the best so far. Kind of a, you know, a lot of action going on there. But what we do know, you know, in celebration of Easter, the main thing regarding this upgrade or update is the the fact that there's some Easter events, uh, the Herald's Fortune, and just started the Easter event. And the other focal point is this, the Avalon artifacts. And as you can see, <clears throat> uh, both for all levels, all troops, infantry, cavalry, bowmen, and the troop buffs, there's going to be a new Avalon artifact. In this case, for the infantry, it's Sir Ector's Mead. <clears throat> You're going to need a lot of these silver leaves. And to get them, you're going to need 100. So the $10 packs at four each, you're going to need 25 of these. If you get the $10 packs, as you know, if you get the higher level ones, it's going to be less. So um, basically, you're going to need uh, a lot of money to, to activate the mead. And on top of that, once you do activate it, you're going to need a lot of the late gravel, 7,285 to activate the base level and 2,185 of the blue flasks there. So before uh, I am here and to upgrade this guy, I need a thousand. Okay, I thought that was a lot. But now if you want to activate the new Avalon artifacts for each type, you're going to need a hundred leaves which you will have to buy in 2,185 of the um, the blue flasks and then uh, 7,285 late gravel. That's a lot. So um, that's the main thing. Let me go back to here. Look at the this one here. Same thing. At least it's not like a, a gold leaf. You know how, how with the gems there's a different type of uh, <clears throat> tome needed to activate the hexagon gem and the other gems but uh okay so same thing here this is the main point and i'm not going to be focusing on this but what we do know a couple basic changes and i'm going to go into i'm going to try to be positive this video but what we do know for the dragon emblems they've trade they're changed the fact that now even your purple your base level emblems are going to need tomes not only that but also your statues are also going to need tomes. Even your low-level statues, which in the past didn't require tomes, you're going to need tomes. And same thing with your gems. Even your Chiv gems, your Shiv gems here. Even your Valor gems are going to need tomes. Now, most of you probably have your Valor or, or Chivalry gemstones. And I'll be honest, probably you're going to be able to get the tomes a lot easier. But the fact is you need tomes. Okay. Um, so that's important. I'm going to go over that. Okay, so we got the artifact, and then the dragon emblems, and the gemstone. So basically, everything's going to need a tome. Okay, so that's the main thing regarding the changes. Now, I want to look into my item bag here, because there's something interesting here. So you can see that I got these new tomes, <clears throat> or arcanas, which I don't need anymore, but I wish we could exchange those. However, you see this... Dragon Heart Stone Fragment. These are replacing the rare matte frags. Uh, so if you got any rare matte frags, whether it's 1, 15, or any combina any number, you can send, you can use them and you convert them to these type of Dragon Heart Stone Frags. You're still going to... I'm going to synthesize it. You're going to need 100 to get one of these guys. Okay, and if we look here... Where'd they go? Okay, I think they go into the... Um, you won't be able to see them here. You'll probably see them in the forge. Okay, so the other thing. Now, I'm going to look at some of the positives, okay? Let's look at some of the positives here. So, first and foremost, what I do like... <clears throat> so, let's look at some of the gemstone frags right here. So, in the past... You would need to get at least a hundred of these to synthesize them and then convert them into the uh, the gemstone assets, right? You need a hundred of those, synthesize, and you can create the gemstone essence here. However, 
One thing that they have changed is you could take any frag, even if it's one frag, and convert it into gemstone essence. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to convert all of these, the chivalry gemstone, into gemstone essence. Same with the these guys. The raw chivalry gemstone five frag, I'm going to convert them into gemstone essence. So that's kind of cool. Same thing with the basic soul. Should be a lot more. Okay. Well, not as much as I thought. Okay. <clears throat> Same thing with your statue frags. Again, before you need 100 to synthesize into one scroll to actually create one and then convert it into statue material. However, here you could take a frag and convert it into statue material. So I am going to convert all of them into statue material. So that's kind of cool. Same thing with the dragon emblems. Before you needed 100, now you could take any frag, convert it into gem, uh, dragon essence. Emblem Essence. Okay, so a couple of things to look out for. You may want to convert a lot of your old frags, that gemstone, statue, emblem essence that you don't need. Okay. The other cool thing that I do like about this update is a goods exchange. Guess what? Well, you can all... Let me cancel this request here. Okay, so here you can get 8 of 66 of these or... 66 of these so whether it's rare math or these uh, dragon heart stone frags they're the same thing in essence <laughs> in essence right gemstone same quantity emblem now this is what i like you can now get or exchange gems uh, uh, dragon emblem essence 634 a day before it was zero and i tell you the truth this is really it was really hard to get those other base level emblems um, but with the Dragon Essence, or Emblem Essence, sorry, able to do 634 a day, not bad. This is the same here, statues, same amount. This is the other highlight. Before, you could only get four of these a day. The Enchanted Mist, now you can get 15. So, okay, almost uh, more than triple. Okay, almost uh, quadruple, so that's kind of cool. I'm going to put it back to Dragon Essence my equipment so that's kind of one of the highlights of that the other highlight is <clears throat> in terms of packs i i think this easter discount is eh, five bucks it's not bad but what are you going to do with only some of these arcanas or manuscripts you're going to need to get a lot more the other stuff is eh, probably better value you get the 10 buck pack for the enchanted mist you get 100 of those the essence 10 bucks you get 90 something thousand Okay, so that's that Mega Hammer. I think these guys are going to be used to open up a, the Mega Eggs. The Mega Eggs. So when you're... Actually, let me show you here. You can actually gather them here in your castle. Right? So you got 10 of those. Alright. You can also get them from... <clears throat> from doing barb rallies. Killing monsters. Okay. So that's kind of cool. A normal egg and an advanced egg. Those you can open without those hammers. But if you happen to get a mega egg, you need one of those hammers. You need to buy those hammers. So that's kind of uh, one. Man, they better be given something really mega. Five bucks for one hammer. Very interesting. But let me get to the highlight. The cost-benefit ratio of all the packs pretty much the same. Except for the Red Knight, Akalon, and Sebil Hero. Uh, I think more than double. Uh, yeah, more than double. So I think it was five, five for each of these ten dollar packs, and then it was four. What was it? Six? I can't remember. But anyhow, I got more. So if you're trying to upgrade your Akalon, Sabil, and Red Knight, well, you can get a lot more frags for what it was compared to before. Dragon Essence, Emblem Essence, they're all the same. I don't think anything has really changed in terms of the cost benefit ratio. So again, for packs, it's the heroes: Sabil, Akalon, and Red Knight. Okay, so in terms of what you can get, trial shop, you can get some of those purple thunderstone tomies, tomes for the statues. Meh. So other than that, nothing really different here. Spire loot, same thing. You get the same frags, except same thing, the dragon heart stone instead of rare matte frag. Here, enchanted mist. I think this is one of the highlights of the, at least what we can get in Spire Loot, nine a day. So that's kind of cool. Actually, let me 
Let me get that. Nine a day. Okay. So that, I think that's a new thing. So that's kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> all right. Oh, yeah. Nothing really big in Undead Trader nor Alchemist Corner. Yeah. Nothing new in the under, Undead Trader and Alchemist Corner. Say so we're good there. Now to the event. Herald's event. Oh, Herald's Fortune. So for $9.99, you can unlock, and apparently I'm going to get 644 more of these sapphires. These gold Herald sapphires. Of course, you can buy them in packs, looks like. And you can get them in doing events. But you're going to be maxed out. Weather gathering resources, hunting monsters, barb camps, kingdom threat, the golem, portal challenge, alliance conquest, demonic siege, fallen night, magic spire, and spirit altar. So once you read, you're only going to be able, you're going to be able to get free of the uh, herald sapphires. However, there's going to be a limit. Now, one thing I noticed is that I, I thought everything you do, then you'll be able to get something, but it's not. So you see here. Under this barb, I got zero of these sapphires. I thought you'd get one in every every hit. No. Uh, let me look at this one. So you see here, in this barb rally, I got it. And this barb rally, I got it. For monsters, two. Okay, now, uh, let's see here. So there were some monster hits that I didn't get any. You see your gathering resources, zero. Zero. But... When you gather some resources, it's uh, you get one of these sapphires. And I thought maybe it's a certain type of resource that you gather, but I think it's random. So I, I did see some sawmills where I was uh, gathering, got them. Some I didn't get the sapphires. So that's one way to get free sapphires. Of course, in participating in all the events that were described here. Okay, so uh, in terms of in spirit ceremony... So if you complete a spirit ceremony, this was a, I got two intensity stone and I got 356 of these sapphires. So that's another way you can get them. So that's a pretty good amount. However, I think you're going to be capped out at, in terms of what you can get through there. Okay. So let's see here. Any other event, the Easter event. Okay. Gold event. <clears throat> um... I don't really see any big changes here in the rewards. Okay, overall ranking, nothing. I don't know, maybe tomorrow. In the stage rankings, you might get some additional rewards or different rewards, but maybe not. Okay. And then, of course, you've got the Time Lord target going on and this new Mark of Destiny. And this is what I got. Whether it's right or wrong, eh. I don't know, but uh, yeah, that's what I got. Okay, so I think that's pretty much what I wanted to cover here. And um, yeah, again, the highlights, I think the positive highlights, let me focus on the positive, it's the heroes. Uh, they've they've uh, increased the cost-benefit ratio for the $10 packs in terms of getting the hero frags. And then two, you're... You're able to now exchange, in the good exchange, you're able to get um, the Emblem Essence. So that's a new thing. And then you're able to get more of these. Before it was four Enchanted Mists. Now you're able to get nine per day. Or oh, 15. So that's cool. 11 more a day. So that all adds up. Um, yeah. So I, I think from my perspective, uh, that's really the highlight of this exchange of this update from a positive perspective negative perspective yeah you're going to be spending a lot more and the disparity between those who are able to max out on here okay and who are not able to uh it's going to increase the gap between really pay to pay to win and then mid mid level low level and free to play players here so again, you're going to need a lot of these silver leaves to activate the artifact um, for the Avalon artifact. Activate that high level tome. Um, yeah, other than that, yeah, that, that's kind of my, my observation, my take on this new update. 
Uh, again, you got the Herald's Fortune and you got the Easter Egg event. Well, let me open some of these just to see what we might get. Let me open some of these. Okay, I got 20 of them so far. Okay, one egg gives... Okay. Let me open one of these guys. Advanced Egg. I only get three. How advanced is it? Okay, a little bit more. A little bit more stuff. You know, a great, great passive way to get it is, again, through your farms here. Your farms within your castle. And then gathering, participating in events. Uh, Herald's Fortune, same thing. You're able to get some of those uh, Herald Sapphires for free as well. Participating in events. But it looks like you're not getting them all the time. Okay, with that, we'll call it a day. Hope you all have a wonderful one. And as always, thanks for your support. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And thanks a lot. Bye-bye.